Parshat Baha'alotcha. Towards the very end of the Parsha, one of our Chumash superstars, Miriam, Moshe's older sister, is struck with Tzarat, a miraculous kind of leprous disease. The entire camp of the Jewish people stops and waits for her for a whole week out of honor and respect. But why was she stricken with Tzarat? All she did was complain to her brother Aaron about her little brother Moshe that he wasn't treating his wife properly because he had to be on call all the time whenever Hashem wanted to talk to him. She didn't really understand what it meant to be a prophet, a Navi at the level of Moshe. But the truth is, Miriam was known as a person who was fearless in speaking out for what's right or if she saw a problem or something that needed to be addressed. When she was but a little girl and her parents separated due to Pharaoh's decree that every child would be thrown into the river, she convinced her parents to get married yet again and thereby all the Jewish people got back together. When she was called before Pharaoh as one of the midwives and ordered to murder every Jewish boy that was born, she blatantly defied him and spoke up to him fearlessly. When her baby brother was in the river and she was watching the basket, she fearlessly went and called her very own mother to be a nursemaid for the princess Batya and enabled Moshe to spend a few years with his mom. Miriam was known as the one who was unafraid to speak out. Yet here, she didn't go and address the problem directly with Moshe. Her issue was she spoke about it with his other brother, Aharon. This is a very subtle and important lesson for us. Even though she is so great, she was punished quite severely because it's very important if we do have an issue not to talk about others, but to address it directly and appropriately with them.